Meikai University has an undergraduate and a graduate program. It has the Faculty of Foreign Languages, which has three majors of English, uh, Japanese, and Chinese. Uh, we have a variety of programs here. Um, we have a lot of international students as well. I think we have about five or six hundred international students, so uh, it's a great place to exchange languages and exchange ideas. Japanese students are often a bit shy about expressing themselves. My focus as a coordinator is on the speaking portion of the program, which means getting students to communicate, to actually express what they want to say. English is so different from Japanese, so it's difficult, I think. I often having the trouble and listening and speaking, so uh, I often ask, uh, please say that again, what does unknown words mean? The proficiency levels of the students will be varied. So um, you could have very, you know, in one class you may have a very high level uh, student who has you know, very high proficiency and experience with English, but in the same class you might have a student who has no experience with English. There are many students where it's new for them. They're not used to being asked to say what they think to explain why they think that. And so developing a program that really tries to bring that out and help students understand what they need to be doing has been a challenge. When we decided to redesign the program, the department, the English department, had set a goal for students to achieve. So we looked at our course and said, what we currently have, is this going to get our students to where they need to be? And we said, we think we need to make some changes here. So at the institutional level, uh, when you're trying to create a program uh, that is, provides continuity or the same uh, level of education or quality of education across many different classes and many uh, different kinds of teaching styles, uh, the GSE can really come into play there. We took the global scale of English and we said, okay, we can use this. We can use these various goals and we can apply it in a way that works for our institution for our program, for our students, and that's what we've done. So one of the main approaches is uh, uh, having clear course goals. Okay? And using, uh, we use the GSE to do that, exactly that. Uh, using GSE descriptors, there's always uh, available to the students. We write them on the board, make them aware of the goals. And that clearly shows what learning outcomes uh, are, are, what is expected in each class. Every teacher is given a, a notebook that has everything, all the goals stated, uh, the tasks that we created for every unit tie back to the goals, and asking teachers for feedback. Is it working? Does, does it work in the classroom? Do we need to make changes? So making sure that they're involved throughout this process has been really important. What we hope is that they're translating that to the, to the students and saying, okay, this is what we're learning today. This is your goal today. Today you're going to be giving an opinion and we want you to be able to give a reason by the end of the class. And it's working and students are understanding it and little by little they're growing more confident and we see that. The teachers are giving quality feedback to the students on how well they can perform uh, the tasks related to each descriptor. So that, that really I think motivates students. Global scale of English might require some investment up front, but it really pays off in the end. And I also think that once you know what you're doing, it is not so time consuming the second time you do it or if you're applying it to a different program. So there's a little bit of a learning curve, I think, the first time, but once you know what you're doing, it can really hold your program together when you start applying it elsewhere and it really gets you thinking about your, the other programs that you can you know, tweak or make changes to using the global scale of English.